Hi, I'm Lee Riley, and in this video, I'll show you a quick overview of Nuendo's layout and its similarities to Pro Tools. So let's take a look. So let's start with the project window, which is the equivalent of the Pro Tools edit window. Nuendo's project window layout should seem very familiar. And as you would expect, everything is laid out on a timeline. You have the typical choice of various audio or MIDI tracks, and there's a number of powerful editing tools at your disposal. Multiple timeline rulers, just like in Pro Tools. And in this preference, the transport functions are set up in the bottom transport bar, along with the selection functions, where you can set your start, end, and duration. So let's take a quick look at a few features individually, starting with the toolbar, which is named the same in Pro Tools. And just as in Pro Tools, the Nuendo toolbar is configurable, allowing you to show what you need. If we start at the left-hand side here, we have configurations and filter track types, which basically is the track list pop-up in Pro Tools. Notice here, you can filter out the tracks that you don't need to see, or basically, see the ones you want to. For editing, we have a full range of tools to use, just as in Pro Tools, but with a few more options available. The first being the Object Selection tool, which can function just like the Grabber tool. Then the Range Selection tool is like the Selection tool in Pro Tools, but can have two selectable areas to work in. These tools can be combined to create a smart tool. There is the draw, erase, split, and mute tools, and more to choose here. But in the interest of time, I'll cover the other tools in a later video concentrating on basic editing. The transport window in Nuendo can be fixed or floating just like in Pro Tools. Play, Stop, and Loop Play, which is Cycle in Nuendo, are normal. But the record modes can be set up here. Grid selection and range can be viewed here, or can be adjusted either at the bottom of the project window or in the object selection area. Just as in Pro Tools, the fields are dependent on your chosen timeline ruler preference. Here, we have a snap type drop-down setting that determines how you edit, very similar to the edit modes in Pro Tools. I can go into more detail in an upcoming video. Next up, we have the show hide zones, which work similar to the Pro Tools show hide. Left, lower, but in Nuendo you have a few choices here. And finally, the right. But instead of showing your audio clips list, you have options to show VSTIs, a media browser, the control room for monitoring, or various metering views. Moving forward in Nuendo's basic layout, let's take a quick look at the mix window which should look pretty familiar to a Pro Tools user. The Nuendo Mix window mainly consists of racks. We can start at the top with the input and output routing, then inserts. EQs and channel strips can be added directly to the signal path. Next are the sends. Bearing in mind, these racks are configurable in this section here. Customize as you see fit for your workflow. Okay, let's look at some track types, where there are some similarities, but with some additions. First up, we have our audio tracks, similar to Pro Tools in that they can be mono, stereo, or multi-channel. You have your usual MIDI and instrument tracks but there's also an available sampler track, which allows any audio clip 
to be controlled by a MIDI controller or keyboard. Sweet. The effects channel track is the equivalent of a Pro Tools AUX track containing a desired effect and can be placed inside or outside a particular folder. Yes, that brings me neatly to the next track type. The folder track works very similar to the newly implemented Pro Tools folder track. In Nuendo, you can apply a lot of functions to the tracks within a folder. For example, solo, mute, record arm, edit, and move. A group track in the window is also a Pro Tools AUX track. Whereas if you want to create a subgroup master, or affect a group of tracks at once. You can have up to two video tracks in the window, supporting various formats, and with the option of automatically viewing timecode burn-in. Marker tracks work a little differently to as they do in Pro Tools. They are similar when you can create a position marker, like this, which simply is called a marker in Pro Tools, and a cycle marker, which is the equivalent of a selection marker. As you see, the visual aspects are different, and how you recall them are too. Now, Windows Markers window allows you to be very descriptive and it doubles up for spotting and recording ADR or Foley with the ADR panel. You can also recall your markers in the inspector. In the inspector, you can view and control a lot of attributes of a particular track, as you can see. The Visibility tab works just the same as the Track List in Pro Tools, allowing you to show and hide tracks that you choose. I'm Lee Riley, and thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and please be sure to check out the next one.